Welcome back to Morning in America. New York State farmers concerned about two new laws. One bill now requires farm employees be paid overtime after 56 hours with an overtime threshold that decreases every year by four hours until reaching 40 hours a week. And then they'll be paid overtime. Now that is in the year 2032. Bittner Singer Orchards is a family farm founded in 1915 and the owner Jim Bittner is with us right now. Jim, thank you so much for joining us. First, your employees work as many hours as they can. I mean, I don't think a lot of people who've never been to a farm or don't understand farming would know how many hours they desire to work, that they do a lot of this work by hand, not machine. Is this law creating an unintended detriment for your hires? Well, sure it is, uh, especially in this, you know, for seasonal workers. What you said about wanting to work as many hours as possible, it's especially true for workers who are uh, work just during the harvest season. It's a short season. They want to get in as many hours as they possibly can to make as much money as they possibly can. So it's really, it's hurting them more than it is anybody else at this point. And you would have to pay overtime to these employees, which would be very costly for the farm. I, I would think some people watching would think, well, you know, everybody gets overtime after 40 hours. But the farm industry happens to be very different historically. What caught my eye is you're going to have to chop down your cherry crops and apple trees because of this law? Well, we're going to move out of our larger trees. It costs more. Uh, you got to understand a uh, fruit farm, 50% of our total cost is labor. So any way we can save on labor, we're going to do it. It, caught, it takes more labor to pick a large tree. You got to climb a ladder. So the cherry trees that you need long ladders, their history, uh, the apple trees that need a long ladder, their history, we're going to be doing everything with either a short step ladder or with platforms uh, where a worker would stand on a move on a motorized platform and not use a ladder at all just to try to improve labor efficiency. I think that some farmers would be emotional just thinking about chopping down the trees that they've helped cultivate over many years. But you, you're very composed. I want to ask you about the Birds and the Bees Protection Act. Uh, it's being sold as a way to keep harmful pesticides off of a, a produce. How costly will it be for you to get an alternative? Well, for us in the fruit industry, it may, this mainly affects treated seed, which we don't use. But where we're really worried is that this is a case where the legislature decides it's better than the scientists that are regulating pesticides, that they know better. Mm -hmm. And we just feel it's a slippery slope. I mean, if, if they're going to just willy-nilly ban seed treatments, what's next? And that's what really worries us. What is the group of farmers that uh, are so concerned planning on doing, or are you planning on petitioning these laws? What would you like the state to do? Well, right now, the proposal is that it's going to be delayed. It's not going to take effect for a number of years. There's going to be some ways of uh, applying for exemptions for it. So hopefully, it'll be a little bit of a workaround. And in the meantime, we'll be able to make our case stronger that these things are necessary for modern agricultural production and they're not a concern for the environment uh, there's, there's people that are way way over reacting to the uh, concern of uh, neonicotinoids used used on farms yeah i can probably talk to you for an hour about the con conversation between organic and and traditional farming a lot of farmers have a strong opinion and the lobby uh, who is behind some of these efforts thank you jim bittner and i uh, wish you the best as well as your farm Thank you very much. Glad to be with you. All right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.